So hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be looking at dynamic lookup tables and what this means is that the table will be looking up from the previous, from another table whereby the first field is going to determine what's going to come under. So first things first, let's create a database and let's call this table as user. Okay, so let's give this user a name, give this user a role, let's give this user uh, location okay so that's the first table let's now add another table and let's call this table maybe lookup and let's give this table a name null location okay so that's it so let's save this uh, and let's come. Let's see. We have that, and we have that. So we can preview this. Publish it. Let's publish that. Now, let's come here to users, and let's create some user. Let's call this user James. Call this as admin, and let's call this yeah, so James from Neri. Let's add another user and let's call this user Jack. Let's call this role as user1. And let's give him location to Nairobi. Add that. So we have that. Now let's go to lookup table. We actually want to add data from the first lookup table. So let's go to lookup table. Let's go to add. Let's click on user. Let's do this. Uh, click on select and on the lookup field here. You want to do this lookup table. You just need to select users. Let's select name. Lookup field label is name also. Order by ID. Now just leave this that way. So you can preview that. Now let's try. So we have James and Jack. So what we want next is that we want to whenever you click on this user here, or the load to appear here automatically. But uh, let me show you how we do that. So let's go to pages and let's go to the role. We click on select that. Lookup table will be users. Lookup field will be role. Do a role order by ID. Now pay keen attention to this. Lookup dependent field will be the name and also dependent match field will also be the name. So whenever you click on the name, the add the row will appear down there automatically. So let's go there. So come here, click James, Jack. Now the role will be user one. Go back here, select James, the role will be admin okay so now I need you to pay attention to the next part because it's going to be a little bit tricky so uh, let's go back to go to location and let's select the table we want users uh, just check this as location the same way you just do lookup fields location order by ID uh, you can also do a descend you don't mind look up your dependent view now it will be the low now no so if you need to add another table here, when you are done with this, it will look up from this table. So since we are doing the location, the role will be the lookup for the location. So we want to have the lookup table for the location. The lookup dependent field will be the role. And the dependent match field will also be the role. So preview that. And now let's go back here and let's do gems. You can see we have admin. Uh, location Neri. So let's change this. Jack uh, user one location Nairobi. You can submit that, and that's it for this this uh, lookup table. Also, somebody also asked how you can actually change this. How you change this is you come to page design, and let's go to users list. And now over here, this is where you're going to change users from. So you can actually give this as a users edited and close that and preview let's go to users 
can see it's changed user has edited so you actually change it from the list and that's it for this tutorial guys uh, thank you for sticking around and uh, have a good day